Alright guys, Zypho here, and today it's just a quick video looking at the new Ghosts and Goblins remake for the Amstrad 6128 Plus computer. Now a demo for the first level of the game dropped on Friday the 9th of April, and of course we were quick to check it out on the Amstream that night. But here we're going to take a look in more detail and have a run through of the entire first level. So as we start things up here, make sure you hit the space bar very quickly and you actually get to a service menu like you would on the actual coin op. Um, and you can change the region from uh, world to Japan, uh, increase the number of lives and credits, change the difficulty level, and even the starting weapon and also when you get bonus lives and change the sound mode from uh, either to, uh, from mix to either sound effects only or music only um, and even change the attract mode volume, that's awesome. So uh, now this isn't to be confused with another Ghosts and Goblins remake for the Amstrad, uh, that was for the GX4000 from Xyphos which was released about two years ago. Now that was fantastic but in a lot of places it wasn't entirely faithful to the arcade original. This version however has been in development for four years and the coder Gollum13 wasn't aware at the time that someone else was doing their own version. However, that was for the GX4000 as already stated, but this is for the 6128 Plus taking advantage of the extra memory, which has allowed Gollum to be more faithful to the arcade coin op. And off we go. I'm just testing out one of the secrets that was in the arcade original and yes, if you hit the gravestone enough times, a magician appears and turns you into a frog. And yes, it's present here in Gollum's version. That's awesome. And there you go. There's Arthur the knight running around in his underpants now. Which was sadly missing from the original Ghosts and Goblins on the Amstrad. In fact, that version, whilst I do like it, is missing an awful lot of stuff and perhaps um, isn't really the uh, conversion that the Amstrad deserved. Well, now we have two to make up for it. Look at that, that's excellent um, collision detection there. Um, and it looks absolutely gorgeous, it sounds brilliant, uh, it's got lovely smooth scrolling. And uh, yeah, it's really, really close to the arcade original. Um, so yes, this was coded by Gollum13, as already mentioned, with graphics by Winner and sound and music by Ixian. Let's see how we do the red aroma there. And there you go. Now there is a secret here where if you jump where the uh, red aroma spawned, you actually get a suit of armor come down if you lost your suit of armor fighting him. But I think because I lost mine earlier, that secret doesn't happen. So I'm not sure. But I have seen it happen in other earlier playthroughs I've done. Right, let's see how the ghost knights are. Coming in quite low there. But otherwise, that looks really, really great. Oh yeah, really tight. Excellent collision detection. Guys, I can tell you that... Oh, look, there's the dagger weapon to pick up. Um, I can tell you guys that the um, controls are exceptionally tight and responsive. Um, player and sprite movement is really, really smooth as well. There's some nice animation there and uh, firing your weapon feels just right as well. Now we won't be able to find a uh, test another secret in this level. If you jump in the right place you get like this little star that pops down. There it is! And if you collect that you get a bonus of 10,000 points. There you go. So the two secrets on this, on this first level are there and present and we're already at the boss battle here at the end of the level. And that looks all correct as it should be. And of course the ending to the level with a nice jingle of music to collect the key and off you go inside the door. And Arthur gets his suit of armor back. And there you go. So thank you for playing. This was only the first level. The full game is coming soon. Stay tuned, Arthur. So they, oh wow, that was fantastic. Now there, there is a link in the description below um, if you want to go and download the um, the ROM uh, file for yourself to test out in an emulator like Win8, for example. 
as for where this is, as we just kill ourselves so we can show you the uh, uh, high score table and hear other jingles of music. Uh, we're at the stage, apparently, according to Gollum, where they are currently been uh, they're currently working on levels four, five, and six, which are the, I think pretty much the last three levels of the game. So, wow, won't be too much longer, guys. Hopefully, maybe a few more months. We'll have to see. Um, he has already noticed and found some uh, glitches and bugs to fix and things to tweak. So this is not perfect yet. This is still a work in progress even on this first level. But Gollum wanted to give us all something to uh, wet our appetites with. And boy, are they wetted. <laughs> this is fantastic. And I love it. This is the ghosts and goblins that the Amstrad deserved, definitely. Uh, the music does sound absolutely fantastic. And we're going to hear some more jingles very, very shortly, just as I uh, kill, kill myself here on my very, very last Arthur. And there we go, we got the uh, game over music there. And we, are, we have the high school table entry music as well. Oh, that sounds lovely. So there you go guys, a link in the description below for you to uh, go and check out the demo for yourself. Um, this isn't a disc or tape file, it's a ROM file so you're going to need to boot up Win8 and set it to like four, uh, 6128 plus mode in the profile and then Control F3 to open your uh, ROM selector and choose that ROM. Uh, you might have to unzip the file first as well. And further discussion can be found on the CBC Wiki forums. Again, link in the description below. And uh, there we go. High score table. And we also get the continues there. So thank you very, very much for watching, guys. What do you think to this so far? Are you impressed? Are you excited? Are you looking forward to this? Any nice messages you want to leave for Gollum13, Winner, and Exion? please leave them in the comments below and of course I will do more videos on this as soon as we get more things to play with. Thanks for watching guys and goodbye. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click a like below, leave a comment and also subscribe if you haven't already. And over that way, there's another video for you to check out. Zypho, out.